Well, in this video, we're going to continue our look at making histograms and frequency distributions. So this time we're going to work with continuous measures that are ungrouped. The variable I've chosen is called the EDUC from the General Social Survey. And on the left side of the screen, you can see the frequency distribution and the percentage. And this is the distribution we're going to graph. Actually, just to make this a little bit simpler, I'm only going to graph people who had 12 years or more of education. So that is everybody down here. 12 through 20 years of education. And to do that, we're going to do this by hand. And I need to start drawing my x and y axes. And my y axis will be equal to the percentage. Now, remember the last time I did this, I went from 0 to 100. But I'm now going to look at the percentages and see that the largest value there is 27. So I'm going to round that up to 30. And I'm going to start drawing my axis. I'm going to make a very long axis. And then I can always erase at the top. And I'm just going to start drawing down. And then I'm going to draw my x-axis over here. And I'm going to put in tick marks every, every uh, 10 units. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's put a line there. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'll put a line there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I'll put a line there. So there's my 30. And I'll make the bars approximately three boxes wide. Again, I have a little trouble using this tablet and drawing straight lines, as you can tell. But it'll be a passable histogram. And I'm going to start down here. I'm going to do the percentages. So I'll start with this 27.38 over here. And I know that here's 30. And so that's 29, 28, 27. And it's just a hair over 27. So let's try that again. 29, 28, 27. I'll just approximate it. And I'm going to come three boxes across. And then try to draw a straight line down. Ooh, I'm going to erase that. Do that again. This is where it'd be very nice to have a straight edge. And if you're doing it on real graph paper, you will. OK, so there I'm going to label this. These are my people with 12 years of education. 13 years of edu education is 8.27. So I know that this is 10. And I'll count down to 9 to 8, so just a hair over. And again, I'm going to come over three boxes and straight down. And that's my 13 years of education. And then 13.24, so there's 10, 11, 12, 13, and a hair over. And three boxes wide. So there you go. That's a passably good histogram. You know, we might want to shade in the bars or uh, you know color them or so forth. But we can see that the age, the uh, the distribution of number of years of education is pretty clear. Now, notice that these bars are pushed together because this is a continuous orderable variable. So I want the bars to touch versus the discrete measures where there'll be a little bit of separation. But I want to just pick one of these intervals out and show you something in it. So I'm going to come up here and uh, <clears throat> draw a part of the axis, but blow it up. So I'm just going to, this will be kind of random, but you'll get the idea. Here's one bar. Let's say this is the bar for 17 years of education. So where does this bar over here start, and where does it end? Well, 17 is right in the middle at the category midpoint. And down here, this is 16.5, and this is 17.5. So in one of the video lectures you're going to see, and we'll hopefully talk about it in class, the difference between true limits uh, and apparent limits. The apparent limits are what you label your graph with. So on this graph down here, this axis over here, my x-axis, is labeled 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are my apparent limits. My real or true limits are where the bar begins and where it ends. And that width is always half the distance between my apparent limits. So these are one unit apart, 
12 to 13, 13 to 14, 14 to 15, and so forth. Half that distance is 0.5. And so I take my category midpoint, and I subtract half the distance, 0.5, and I add half the distance, 0.5, and I get my lower true limit and my upper true limit. We're going to see this again in the next video where we're going to look at um, a frequency distribution of a continuous measure that's been grouped into, into categories or intervals. And there we're going to have to label our graph with intervals, for example, age 18 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34, and so forth. And those would be the apparent limits, what we'd label our graph with, versus the true limits, which is where these intervals or bars actually start. One last thing about these real limits or the true limits is that they actually overlap. So that if I were to draw another bar up here, it goes off the screen a little bit, it would actually go to 18.5. So you can see here 17.5 is the upper true limit of 17, and it's the lower true limit of 18. There's this little part here where they overlap. Let's look at the same histogram created in SDA. So here I am in my um, frequencies cross tabulation page. My row variable is going to be EDUC. I'm not going to use a column variable or a control variable, but I am going to use a selection filter. And that's going to be um, all the data where year is equal to 2012. And I'll come down here and select no weight. And I'm going to now play with the charting options. I'd like a bar chart. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Let's say 800 by 600. I'm not going to show the percents. I, I don't really like that too much except for small charts uh, with few bars. But there's going to be a lot of bars in this chart. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and run this. Here we get our frequency distribution. So if you were going to do this by hand, this is one way you could do this. And then here I have my frequency distribution. And notice that this um, is not only 12 years of education and greater, it's, it's all years of education. And then I can download this image using the Save Image As. And uh, I'll just throw this up on my desktop. And there we go. Again, this is a passable histogram. It's okay for this class, although I think for a, you know, an honors thesis or something for another course, you'd, you'd like to do this without these different colored bars and without the uh, legend at the bottom. But it does give you an idea of how to do this and what it looks like, and it's quite easy. Well, here we have our final two graphics, the one created in SDA on the right, and it shows the percentages and it's the colored bars and so forth. It's not very good, but it's passable. And then the graphic on the left is one that I made in Stata, which I like a lot better. I like it that it's black and white and it's well labeled and we can add a source. But again, for this course and for most of your courses, you can probably get away with a lower resolution, a lower quality graphic, as long as it helps you tell the story about what the distribution of education looks like. From this, we can see that the majority of people uh, either have no de didn't complete high school or have a high school education. In fact, the modal category, the category with the most cases, is having completed a 12th grade education. So that's it for um, histograms for this video. And we're going to do one more video on histograms where we're going to look at a continuous variable that's been put into groups.